Understanding Typhoon Path, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, today, we're going to explore the meaning and usage of the phrase, Typhoon Path. This is particularly interesting as it combines a natural phenomenon with a descriptive term. Let's dive in to understand this better and enhance our English vocabulary. Before we delve into the phrase, it's crucial to understand what a typhoon is. A typhoon is a tropical cyclone or storm that occurs in the northwestern Pacific Ocean. It's similar to hurricanes or cyclones in other parts of the world. Typhoons are characterized by strong winds, heavy rain, and can cause significant damage. They are a part of nature's more powerful phenomena. The word, path, in English refers to the way or direction something moves or follows. It can be literal, like a path in a forest, or metaphorical, like someone's career path. In our phrase, it's used in a more literal sense, indicating the direction or route taken by something. Now, let's combine these two concepts. The phrase, typhoon path, refers to the route or trajectory that a typhoon follows as it moves. This path is often tracked by meteorologists to predict where the typhoon will travel and where it may cause impact. Understanding the typhoon path is crucial for safety and preparedness in regions prone to these storms. Understanding the typhoon path is vital for several reasons. 1. Safety precautions. It helps in issuing warnings and evacuations in areas that might be affected. 2. Preparation. It allows people and authorities to prepare, minimizing damage and loss. 3. Scientific study. For researchers, it provides valuable data about weather patterns and climate change. Let's see how to use typhoon path in sentences. Meteorologists are closely monitoring the typhoon path to issue accurate forecasts. Residents were evacuated from the coastal areas due to the predicted typhoon path. Understanding the phrase, typhoon path, helps us grasp how English combines terms to describe complex concepts. It's not just about weather. It's about the intersection of language and real-world events. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in your journey to mastering English. Stay safe and keep learning!